As George Papandreou battles to maintain control of Greece, worries about default are sending shockwaves across the world. Greeks are taking to the street. A global sell-off in equities and beyond continues unchecked. The euro has nosedived and the ECB says the situation could be about to get much worse. Everything now hinges on a confidence vote due in the coming hours in Athens. When speaking on Greek television, Papandreou implored the nation to pull together. Tomorrow, I will form a new government and immediately after we'll ask for a vote of confidence from Parliament. It is the time for responsibility. Well, in a couple of minutes, we're going to show you why Greece's growing crisis matters to you and everyone in the world, for that matter, and see how the Eurozone must face down the prospect of scenarios that analysts are calling apocalyptic. First, though, let's head live to the heart of the crisis. Our Nicole Itano is in Athens. So, Nicole, a very eventful last 24 hours. Just run us through it. Well, Lindsay, make no mistake. Greece's future and this government hangs on a knife edge right now uh, and we will certainly this is certainly one of the most treacherous moments this government has faced in some time. Now yesterday George Papandreou went before the people he spoke live on national television saying that he had offered to resign in the midst of violent and determined protests and that he had offered to create a unity government to help see Greece, Greece through this very difficult period. He said he couldn't come come to an agreement with Greece's largest opposition party, New Democracy, uh, because they failed to meet his key criteria, which is that they would support and vote for the midterm budget, the next round of austerity cuts that are necessary for Greece to get that next bailout. Now, what's going to happen now? He's going to announce a new government sometime in the next few hours. We understand that announcement will happen sometime after 12 uh, p.m. today, local time. Then tomorrow, he's expected to bring that government to, uh, to Parliament. They will be put in uh, to power, and then he will call for a, no co for a confidence vote. That vote, though, may not be finished until Sunday. And only then, Nicole, would the Greeks be in a position to guarantee that they can, that they can implement this next round of austerity measures in order to get that bailout. Well, even if he wins the confidence vote, there is no guarantee uh, that he will be able to push through this austerity uh, package. In fact, if you look at the political situation here, it seems very likely that the reason he went to the opposition parties, the reason he even entered in negotiations with the opposition party, is that he is afraid he doesn't have enough votes to get this austerity plan through Parliament. And if he doesn't get that austerity program through Parliament, that is going to seriously dent and shake the confidence of his Eurozone partners, and that threatens the bailout, which, of course, if the Greece doesn't get that bailout, then they will default and likely soon.